friends, welcome back to the playground. My name is MJ. Today I'm reacting to Eminem's Nail in the Coffin. Again, we're just going down the line of requests for you guys' uh, Eminem reactions. I'm really excited to hear this one. I feel like I may or may not have heard this. My brother's a huge rap fan, right? He was my closest sibling growing up, so he did used to put me on game for a lot of things. So it's very possible. And he is very big on disses. Like when it, when the diss comes about, he likes to play them for me and be like, oh, did you hear that bar? Oh, did you hear that? Oh my God. So. I don't know, it's quite possible that I've heard it, but I don't, I don't know. Once I press play, I'll realize if it's a thing or not. This doesn't look like it's coming from Eminem, but I think it's the same song. If you guys ready for this reaction, definitely give me a thumbs up, and let's press play. This motherfucker, man. It's set up with you. Talking about how old <laughs> First of all, the beat sounds very familiar. The beat itself seems like I may have heard this song before, but it also reminds me of, I don't know if you guys remember this Cameron song, where it's like, chorus and carriage, dun, dun. It's fire, da, 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 mamacita, da, 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 please, senorita. Was that camera on? Please, please, God, let me be right about the artist. I told you guys, I've been knowing the songs, but I don't know who sings it, but I think it was camera on. But anyway, that's what that sounds like, but like a slow down version. But it seems like they probably, the way this sounds, it sounds like maybe the person slowed it down a bit just for copyright reasons. I'm not sure. Me, I'm you right now. Now let's put the nail in this coffin. Oh. I don't wanna be like this. Yes. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings. I but I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Oh my god, I have heard this before. <laughs> this is making me feel like a child again. I was teeny weeny weeny when my brother played this for me. Okay, yeah, so I'm definitely this is this is as good as the first reaction because the way the selective memory works, the, the melody sounds very familiar and the words too. Have heart attacks, and I don't wanna be responsible for, for that. that. Yep. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. Yeah. Claim to be no Raven Zeno, an 83 year old fake Pacino. So how can he hold me over some balcony without yes. throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes to lift me? Oh my God, this sounds like a slow down. It has to be, and I hope it is, because then I don't have to chop this video up, okay? But yes, oh my goodness. Oh, I don't even want to, I don't want to listen to the rest of it because I remember this was lethal, even as a little girl. Oh my goodness. You'll probably fall with me and I'll ask the book be history. <laughs> but then again, you finally get your wish because you'll be all over the street like 50 cents. Oh. You fucking punk pussy, fuck you, chump. Give me a one on one. See if I'm gonna fuck you up. up. Yes. Jump the rough riders and they cut you up and you put Jada on a track. That's how much you suck. Dick oh. Where did you in the streets hustling? You sit behind a fucking desk at the source, butt kissing it. Damn! Can you guys imagine if this was the Eminem that MGK came after? Mm, bless his heart. And motherfuckers for guest appearances, and you can't even get the clearances. The real lyricists don't even respect you. It takes you serious. It's not that we don't like you, we hate you, period. Oh, I remember this. Like prices, damn. Last week you were shaking Obi Trice's hand. Now he's a buster. What the fuck's with that? Get on a track, kissing us, kissing 50s ass, and asking me what I know about indictments. Fight me, bitch. I got two cases and probation. Fight me. What do I I remember this. It's so funny how the memory, this was like when we was on live stream yesterday and I was trying to remember the words to lose yourself. I'm remembering and I'm low key upset at myself. Like this was clearly ages ago. I'm not expected to remember, but I'm mad at myself because that's how big of a fan I was. I do remember the song. Oh my goodness. That shit is wild. He said, oh my God. He said, I don't know shit about indictments. I got two cases. Oh my God, bite me. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Not to say, y'all, that ain't nothing to be arguing about. Who cares? Who cares if you know about a dive? Why is that something? Why is that a, a badge of honor? Y'all just chill out, but I get what you're saying, Eminem. I get you. About standing in front of a judge like a man Ready to take whatever sentence he has What you know about your wife slicing her wrist Right in front of the only thing that you have in this world A little girl And I put that on her when it's Y'all know what's so funny? And I think you can say this about any music I was just saying that to you guys on the live stream yesterday I remember these words It's like as he's saying them they're so vivid to me but they didn't mean what they mean now. Like listening to it as an adult, I'm like, oh my God, Kim slit her wrist in front of Haley, was it? That's crazy. Ooh, wait. Mm. 
I would never try to make her a star and eat off her I don't know shit about no shopping rocks But what you know about it, pop shops, rockin' spots Well, you're the only white boy up in that bitch to strippin' Pressin' up your own flyers and your stickers Stickin' them bitches up after spending six hours in Kinko's Making copies of your covers, the cassette singles To sell them out of the trunk of your tracer Spendin' your whole paycheck to disc makers What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right, you should know what that's like You're half white I remember this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if I, if there was a door behind me right now, guys, I would have ran out. I'm sorry. Like, he could just drop them. We're halfway through the song. Legit at halfway. The song is 400, 4 minutes and 50 seconds. We are 2 minutes and 25 seconds into it. And I swear, he could just drop the mic. We just... Oh, we Eminem. No mercy. Oh my God, I remember this so well though. I cannot, but it's so weird how the brain works. How do I remember these lyrics? I spill the beans and rice. I'm eating you alive inside. Jesus Christ, if you're that much of a gangster, put the mic down. You should be out killing motherfuckers right, right now. Yes. Kill a motherfucker dead. Kill him dead, bitch. Shoot him in the fucking hey. head. Go ahead, bitch. Let yes. him Yo, okay, let's start over. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. You guys, oh, can I just come here? Let me just hug you. Let me just, oh, let me just hug you. You have no idea what you have done to, for me right now. Y'all don't get it. You don't understand. I am so nostalgic about my music. You have no idea. I take this stuff so seriously. And you guys are sending me to a really good place. Oh, my God. I used to love this song. My brother, he wore it out in his car. Oh my goodness, we was right on the street, his little BMW, he used to just blast it. Oh my god. Well, not this specific song, but just diss tracks in general, but I remember I liked this one because of the melody, and I just thought, you can hear it in his voice. I think this is what I'm saying, like, Eminem is still a beast at the end of the freaking day. Like, he'll murder you at, at any on anybody's stage, in anybody's booth, but what I'm saying is, even like if you listen to it, like, as he's talking, you can hear the... Um, the fight in his voice, if that makes any sense. Ooh, we, y'all. Sorry, I had to bring it back. Let's go. Motherfuckers, right now, kill a motherfucker dead. Kill him dead, bitch. Or tell me if you. Slap my mom. Slap the fuck out of her. Oh my goodness. She can't sue you. Cause she's not gonna get a buck. I, oh my goodness. I remember all these lines. Like as he's saying it. I just can't remember them in time. But they sound so familiar. And they did not mean what they mean right now. Damn. I didn't realize this was the murder that was taking place. I did not know that he was annihilating this man like this. Oh, Benzino, this was it. This had to be what ended your career. I, I'm, I'm pretty certain. You smooth some crack, you'd make a lot more money than you do from rap. You'll never have no security. You'll never be famous. You'll never know what it's like to be rich. Like the bitch, ain't it, Raymond? Here, let me break this shit down. They called him by his government, Raymond. Oh, why do I remember this? Oh, my goodness. Ah. For you just to make sure that you can understand it's a cannabis ain't using too many complicated fucking words for you. Yeah, let me slow it down for you so that you can understand if I say it's so I remember this. Oh, he he ruined his life. In on every level possible. It's so funny because I've never heard the track or Benzino even came after Eminem. So can you guys recommend that in the comments? Not that I really care. If I'm being honest, I'm just, I'm that partial when it comes to this right This song is such a, it is such a murder. It is such a homicide. We don't need to discuss anything else. I don't think, it, I don't think Benzino deserves it. Okay? Let me just be honest. Let it go, dog. It's over. I don't want to be like this. I don't really want to hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. No men uh -uh. have heart attacks And I don't wanna be responsible for that So put the mic down Oh and my goodness and still have a little bit of dignity, dignity. Uh -huh. Talking about I have motherfuckers calling your crib 
Yeah. Bitch, you ain't even got a fucking crib. You ain't even got a fucking phone. Fucking pump. Threatening to shut me down at your little fucking source magazine if I come back when you're your source magazine. Bitch, you attack me first. Take it like a man. Shut Take the it. fuck up. And fuck your little magazine, too. I don't need your little fucking magazine. I got double XL number anyway. <laughs> Y'all can't stand it because they get bigger than y'all. Guys, I can't swallow. Like, that's how, like, th this is hard to swallow. Oh. And by the way, how'd I look on the VMAs? <laughs> when you was watching me from whatever fucking TV you was watching me from in Boston. In Boston. I remember that because I made my brother rewind it. I was like, why do you say Boston like that? <laughs> Boston. Fucking sissy. Then you got a skin up here, motherfucker. Suck my motherfucking kids. Damn, it's not over yet. He got another 10 seconds of roasting this man. He's already like, he's char grilled, Eminem. You don't have to know more. We don't, there's nothing left but just skeletons and bones. Like, let oh. And for those that don't know, don't get it twisted, yo. The source has a white owner. I remember that, but it didn't mean what it does today. The source has a what man? BET had a white owner. I don't know if it still does now. <sighs> Do you want to know what's ironic about this entire thing though? I don't know about age thing, because I would say that him and ben Benzino are around the same age. But if you listen to the lyrics, it's very similar to MG MGK accusing Eminem of trying to like, you know, like calling somebody on him. Some, some stuff. I don't know what garbage he was talking about in that song. I wish I could quote him, but who was listening anyway? Um, but you know how he was saying to Benzino, say he tried to get him like... Uh, like shut out of the source. He's like, fuck the source, blah, blah, blah. I think it's so funny. There were other parts too as well that I was like, oh my God. Again, even the heart attack, all of that stuff. Like, nobody wants to hear the grandfather rap. It's crazy because it's like, it, to me, I feel like it's come full circle. And that's something I don't think I heard Eminem address, but if you guys probably heard the beef recently and then you heard this, you're like, it literally has come full circle because Eminem might as well have been MGK in this situation, except he murdered the fuck out of Benzino, okay? He, no, he, when he came after him, he came all the way. He came after every fiber of his being. But 100%, when I was listening to this, I was like, there are a few similarities to the situation, you know? That's cray. Except I also believe that his accusations are actually legit. And MGK, what he's accusing Eminem of doing, uh, besides the fact that he, he said that he showed up to um, the radio session and he wasn't allowed, Eminem basically said that he didn't call nobody on him and he didn't make no phone calls. So that's interesting. Wow, guys. Thank you guys for requesting this one. This week is off to a great start. Don't you agree? Wow. Mm -mm -mm. It's almost like whenever I wear this shirt, like great things happen. I don't know, but I enjoyed this video. If you did too, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe. We'd love to have you. We are having tons of fun on the playground. I'll see you guys when you're out. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>